Hey guys, what up Viper here and today I do want to go over all the recent events, news, announcement, changes, all the stuff that's happening in Illuvium because it is so so much and if you're not paying super close attention to the Discord, to all the socials and so on, you might be missing out on things. I want to make sure that you aren't, that's why we're gonna jump right into it. So to have like an order and a bit of a chronicle kind of thing, we're just going to start going through all the recent announcements in Discord. If you're not in the Illuvium Discord, go join. But I know it can be a hassle to try and keep up with so, so many Discords of so many, I don't know, games or projects you're interested in. That's why I'm making this video to give you guys a really quick and extensive summary. So this is essentially the, the first thing I want to talk about. And I've covered a lot of this in the recent video that I made that explained how to, I don't know, essentially get the most airdrop points possible by just playing the game and not necessarily playing a whole lot of marketplace kind of stuff now let's jump a little bit into this article and do a short dive into this but if you want to know far more about the airdrop situation and how to farm airdrops by playing the game which at this point includes trading and marketplace kind of things which is kind of cool in my opinion uh, check out the recent video on that Oh, yeah basically we have this article right open beta testnet expanded airdrop points are happening this is just uh, I don't know, a bunch of text picture is a lot nicer to understand this. Essentially, you collect all the alluvials that exist. So you have one uh, stage one, one stage two and one stage three of everything. You get 10,000 bonus points. And if you collect everything in a tier, that is like the rarity kind of thing. Like these are tier five. They are the most uh, rare alluvials to find. You get 39,000. Uh, points if you get all of them how do those 39,000 come go together well you get 15k this is a completion bonus if you have all six of them or all six lines a three illuvials and for each of these if sets of three that you complete you get 4,000 now if you check the numbers this is by far the biggest one this is by far the most important one I think even the collect them all I think it's super crazy amounts of time needed for especially the smaller ones uh, my take on this at the moment is just try to get as many of these sets as possible and on this side just do the other stuff on the side it's fine but focusing on essentially completing as many of the tier 5 and tier 4 sets preferably and then the others just like you catch them on the side right you see some of the really high stage ones just catch it it's nice it's chill but don't go out of your way too crazy for this uh, let's jump back here uh short like issue bug fix okay irrelevant identified the cause fixing it super super quick here only took like three hours really really happy to see this reaction time and they like see an issue and three hours later like already okay uh monitoring it pulling out the fix and so on that's cool then this was a really really big one the uh illuvial hunter series mega hunt so a bunch of text here right I think this pick is again the really good one to explain basically june 1 to june 30 550 ilvn prices this is kind of like a lottery a raffle a, maybe i'm using a wrong legal term sorry i think raffles what everybody's supposed to say nowadays um i don't know crazy internet stuff right but basically for every of these alluvials that you catch you you have to catch them not fuse them not buy them you have to actually catch them in the overworld you get a uh ticket a raffle entry i think that is the correct word that's used here and then you can win this amount of iov so ofesto only one single winner 150 iov for that winner go out and hunt those that is literally life-changing money right same here 62 iov for blazer knights two winners this time though five for the maluras 20 each 10 for the links so 7.5 two and a half for exodon 1.25 for exalted air flesh and that has the most winners now the thing that I wonder a bit here, and we can do some on-chain analysis, maybe in future videos, maybe like midway through the month or close to the end, I don't really know. Uh, if you want to know about this yourself, just go look on Immutable and check on chain basically. But yeah, obviously you want to get Ophistos and Blazer Knights mainly. This is air and this is nature. So you probably want to go to Brightland Steeps. That is the highest chance of encountering the super high price money alluvials. Uh, if you think that everybody's going for this and you want to check the others preferably it's like you have to double check this on chain i haven't done that uh, by the time i'm recording this video just figure out what's the best roi for your time and so on spend my take on this would be this is just a super nice thing on top of just playing the game regularly and you would catch those movies anyways so this doesn't really have to super change how you play the game but going for the brightland region with having better odds for fisto and blazer knight is kind of like my personal idea that i think is certainly worth it and 
This one is the interesting one because it's only 1.25 ILV, but I don't think that many people will catch these at all because everybody will be hunting for these. So you could be like the cool guy that has a bunch of raffle tickets for the foolish um, and be like almost the only one that does that. I don't know. Go check on chain how many of those um, are caught in like the last week or two weeks or whatever when you watch this video and when it airs basically. So that's a big thing, super big hunt event for this month and certainly makes capturing and playing the game a lot more like worth it in air quotes on just a how much ILV can you get and on top of just like playing the game, right? So then we have the launch date announcement. This is probably the biggest announcement uh, out of all of the things here, right? So 25th of July, the Illumium Universe opens and while they could launch sooner they want to include the following features to make the launch considerably more impactful and secure i'm really really happy personally to see this because i've seen a lot of other web3 games essentially be like okay we're going to launch something people can play something they can buy stuff and then we have uh, volume and money and everything involved and we can raise more funds and then do this and that in the future which i think is cool because yeah, you have like more money and uh, testing and so on involved and people have something to play on chain which playing on chain is amazing but you i feel like you might be alienating a bunch of people that just look at it and it's like ah this is like not that great and you kind of only get one real launch mainnet kind of thing so I like to see this essentially launching with a bunch of like super important things. I'm very happy about the arena features. I'm looking forward to Gauntlet more. I'm looking forward to playing in like very close to Teamfight Tactics like version for Alluvium because all the unique things that Alluvium has, I think they might really just make something that is better than TFT at this point. So that's going to be really, really cool. And having that at launch could be super impactful. Very happy to see that. The new weapon system also did it sounds amazing right just because right now we just all well, equip a weapon to the ranger and this is like the unit and it's it's kind of boring whatever this is going to be a lot more unique a lot more hype and i think that can be what distinguishes the game from other games right you actually have to do something that is different that is better and these are small things that might really make that happen overworld is going to have combat ntc interactions economy adjustments character customization forge a ux revamp uh, UX, in case you guys don't know, user experience. So make the user experience of Forge better. I, that's always good. I, anything that's user experience, user interface, those things optimize. Super, super value, in my opinion. If things are very intuitive for players, you, you, you cannot value those things highly enough. Very happy to see that this is essentially making the cut. Uh, character customization, obviously super wanted feature. Economy adjustments. I'm not really sure what to expect here, but I mean... Eh. I'm a friend of economy, so that's cool. NPC interactions, I think that's a super wanted feature by many people. And combat has been really wanted by a lot of the super variety gaming people, right? Because I feel like variety gaming, variety content creation people are very leaning towards like combat, like sword, arrow kind of stuff or shooting. A lot of the times they're not really leaning towards a lot of strategy gameplay and the Luvium obviously leaning towards a lot of strategy gameplay now also having this to offer to all these like variety of people and so on that just want to like i don't know aim something click some buttons instead of having to sit here for 20 seconds and be like this move right like a chess like a game or that's fair enough i think it's good to cover more people with that I don't think I care personally too much about this, but it certainly covers what more people want. In Zero, missions, missions is big, like any kind of questing system is great, and having having it just on the app stores, right? I think that is a super, super impactful, like mobile UI, iOS, and Play Store. I'm very, very happy about this. I'm probably going to be playing a lot on my iPad even. Uh, just going to have, right, like my normal self here, just play on PC and have my iPad laying in front of me, and there's like some loading screen, just like click, 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 really click. Um, I, I can see that happening. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, backend and security things. I think it's super important. You cannot underrate uh, all of this, right? So maintenance and a game pauses. Essentially, that if something goes wrong, you just like turn off the button, fix it, turn everything back on. It's really important to have that. So yeah, happy to to have this in at the beginning, right? So nothing bad can happen. Just minimize the chances for any any like uh economy disruptive events or whatnot i think super super important certainly worth to launch like uh three weeks later to imp uh, implement all of these things in the game now the other super relevant thing to note on this one is right as a thanks for being patient they're adding 10,000 more ilv and rewards to the existing 20k for the testnet pool so now there's a 30,000 ilv to be gained by uh playing for the airdrop points and so on which again i remind 
check out the recent video that I had on this on how to like, I don't know, what to do like gameplay wise and optimal setting so you understand how to go for that because now it's even more ILV that can be gained off this. It's kind of crazy. And then there's a town hall and there's a trailer dropping. So we're going to watch a trailer at the end of the video. Trailer is super, super cool. I'm going to give some thoughts and feedback and I, I don't know what I see and so on there as well. Then another thing that we had, uh, keeping in the loop for future developments, right? So future developments and research features are listed in various stages of development and research and are subject to change or may not be implemented, right? So there's like a really relevant disclaimer. This is not like, bam, it's going to be here, but this is what will be to come, right? Overworld, combat, the theory of its missions, UI, UX updates, uh, diaries, like law clues. I think law is super cool. Law is the one thing that uh, we haven't heard a lot about yet and i'm really really looking forward to exploring all of that because having relatable characters having something that you're immersed in is very relevant so i think this is going to be a really big one new regions region unlock mechanisms uh previously there were things like said well you we have to via gameplay unlock future regions i think that's a really cool thing that i haven't really seen in any games recently but it, it was very nice in the back in world of warcraft kind of days so i think this is a really cool pseudo social kind of thing to have a faction influence immersive story character customization progress and the uh, rate, rate battles multiplayer i think rate battles multiplayer that is probably the most outstanding one so i'm very very looking forward to that a bunch of uh, stuff for arena uh, i'm obviously a very competitive player i really like 1v1 games like pvp so i'm looking forward to all of uh, these things being changed as well and then for alluvium zero and beyond a bunch of changes as well i think the video is getting kind of long so yeah a bunch of really cool future development things that are shared and very very happy to just like be updated me and you know about what might be coming soon next there was a poll on should they include the theory alluvials with the game launch and we essentially have a explanation of this below this so i think the interesting thing is i like decided what are ethereal alluvials they join the fights with the real alluvials in combat but they disappear and defeat and you cannot capture them under any circumstances so they are just like ghost enemies for the fight what are the pros they more uh, there's more control over encounter design the alluvials spawn and balance uh, rate and the ones you can capture will be more rare on average i think this is kind of cool because instead of having to balance the game around well there's like 12 things that you're fighting and most of them are just like kind of shitty so the shitty ones are worth even less and the rare ones are worth even more because you just capture the shitty ones on the side anyways uh you now have more control over this i, I like that a lot from an economy and gameplay perspective i think so i'll, I'll I'm pretty in the favor of the pro thing. I mean, you can see I voted yes on this. And the pros of not including it would be more player decisions involved with Alluvials while capturing. Well, obviously, you have 12 things and you can decide what you want to go for, right? And the, the sentiment from a player perspective where you see a super rare thing and you cannot catch it, right? I'm like this objective, rational person gamer side right so i see well yeah i'm fighting this but it's like a fake one so i don't really care i can see how uh, some people see that differently of like oh i fight this and i cannot catch it it sucks so i think that's a really interesting topic and that's why there was like a community poll with like more than a thousand people voting is pretty cool and then there's also like what happens if they include it what happens if they don't include it right take the poll so pretty pretty happy to see things like this and community involvement as well then there's alluvium town hall uh the town hall if you guys have missed that you can go to the alluvium plus youtube channel and this is the recording of the town hall it's a two hour town hall with kieran uh kieran warwick yeah so if you missed the town hall go check that out you want to be up to date on a bunch of new things which includes like what's happening right now what might be the next game and so on and so on this would be an entirely super long different video if you guys want to have me go over the town hall or go over town halls in general in the future like what has happened in them let me know in the, the comments but yeah if you guys want to check that out the Luvium plus youtube channel right it's like add the Luvium clip and the recent video is the town hall now, I said we want to watch the trailer as well because, well, we also had a really cool Discord event on the Alluvium trailer, right? The release trailer watch party, and there was like trivia with prizes and so on afterwards. So, again, it's like certainly worth to just be in the Alluvium Discord and hang out and so on and don't miss out on those events. So, if you guys want to stay updated on these events and when things are happening, just follow people like on, on social media, right? Like, follow my ex account, follow other people on like 
Kieran and Aaron and so on and so on. Also in the Discord itself, if you scroll down to the top of the left side with all the channels and so on, right, you see an events tab. Um, and in that events tab, you can always see upcoming things like leaderboard snapshots for the creator program for beyond cookers Sky if it's like a hangout kind of uh, friendly event that's every week and there's two alluvial hunt events i think every week i think these weeks ones haven't been added yet but they're usually friday and saturday one each so that's worth uh, looking out for their town halls everything else so again if you want to be updated join the discord check the event check the announcements and so on that's huge but i can also give you guys these overview videos i have no problem with that all right let's like check out the trailer Come all right it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be big Illuvium was always more than a dream it was our calling If only they knew the truth. Scans indicate a dead planet. But I can feel it. This is Alluvium. Find me, child. Activate scouting vessel. And show our people who you truly are. She won't decide our fate. again huh you only just landed will you retreat to safety facing paradise or will you follow me and fulfill your purpose we'll find her soon there's no way off this island Do is blindly follow orders. I need to know how this ends. So that was the, the trailer. I don't know. I mean, you guys probably have seen this before. So Kieran had this competition with people speculating for lore, making video and so on about that on socials. I probably have kind of baited you guys into thinking that I'm going to do that as well. But um, now I'm not going to speculate a whole lot about lore and whatnot. I don't think that's my place being a council member, but it, it just looks so amazing. This is just top notch CGI, high quality trailer kind of thing. They're very happy to see this. I think these videos are so clutch nowadays because you just you get a feeling for, okay, I like this character, I like the story. And I mean, usually in, often, in other games, it's like, okay, I want to have this character, I want to have this weapon or this mount or something like that. I mean, here, obviously, the humans, well, you can play like human in, in the game right you can like make your character maybe look like one of those guys sure but you see the alluvius right you see the titan you see the armor and you're like damn i, I want to have the, the cool thing from the trailer from the cinematic really, really love to see those i think that's going to be very impactful and obviously people can see this and be like yo i want to play this game right so i'm really really happy about this i think that trailer turned out really really well we're gonna see the full version with probably like a lot of more lore stuff when the game launches i think we've only been told so we actually have to wait until the game comes out because there's too much lore and so on involved uh makes sense fair enough i hope that the video was good for you guys i hope that i brought you guys up to speed on all the recent illumium stuff and the news and so on i could give i don't know a little explaining overview feedback kind of stuff as well and yeah Hope the video was helpful and appreciate you guys hanging out. See you guys in the next one.